All right, let's talk about a couple things. Lions will have family and friends, um, I think, for the Indianapolis Colts game. And also, he's going to talk about should the Lions uh, give uh, a tryout or a spot to Don Terry Post since he's been cut from the Dallas Cowboys. And let's talk about both. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Check out the Detroit Lions talk playlist for more videos like this. Um, but, yeah, I think about Thanksgiving, the Lions will have a capacity fan, some capacity at the uh, fourth field. Um, we played the Houston Texans then. What you got to understand is when they do a crowd, they're going to try to make up just as much money as they gave up when they didn't have the 65000 whatever, many plus at Ford Field. So um, when you get a ticket, it's probably going to be marked up probably five or ten times uh, market value. So if your tickets used to be $50, for example, and I know there ain't no tickets there for $50, but, you know, not why, you know, during these pandemic times, but they probably now will be a ticket that might be three, four, two hundred dollars so. Um, the ticket's not going to be cheap to get in there, though, but now they're doing well, doing well now, they're probably really going to start hiking up the ticket prices. I mean, when they can have full fans in there, whenever it is, next year, the year after next, whenever that happens. But if they continue to uh, win, those tickets are really going to be expensive. But they announced that the Super Bowl is also going to have 10 or 15% capacity crowd or 20% capacity crowd at Raymond James uh, Stadium down there with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So that's roughly around 20,000 people. That will be loud at the Super Bowl. You know, those tickets are probably going to be a shoe. You probably have to be a millionaire just to get up in there. But, um, but yeah, we knew this was going to happen. They laid off a whole bunch of staff. So, hopefully, if they get fans back in the stadium, they can have some of the um, business side of the staff, of uh, the Lions, come back and get their jobs. And that's messed up that they cut those jobs right before Thanksgiving. But isn't that how it always happens? Uh, right before the holidays, it's like the corporate America do it on purpose. But... Um, that'll be nice to see that we got some fans there. But if they continue to win, those tickets are become very become very, very expensive. But but also we got Don Terry Post being cut. He been cut because he was overweight in his performance. But I mean then Jerry got to cut the whole Dallas Cowboy team, perhaps. But he got cut for kneeling for the anthem. That's my opinion on it. And Jerry Jones was mum on that part of the thing. So, you know, he's not gonna be honest because he don't want to be seen as the racist as he really is. But I mean, I think they should give him a try for Don Terry Poe. He can't be too much worse than John Penensi. Penisi kind of been coming alive, and Deshaun Hand has been, you know, trying to come alive a little bit. But I say Dante Pro, you got a true nose tackle. Um, worst case scenario, you start him and Danny Sheldon to stop the run, and you know maybe it was just his time in Dallas that you know it just wasn't working for him. Now you got a team without a couple more wins, maybe Dante Pro can come in and make a difference. Remember, he was one of the more athletic nose tackles that the NFL has seen. He ran a sub five uh, forty at four eight nine to be exact. So maybe being in a different environment. Uh, can really energize and amplify Don Terry Poe. You bring Everson Griffin in, you might as well bring Don Terry Poe in. It don't cost you nothing, not even a, a bottle of Aquafina. So um, I would bring him in, uh, you know, try him out, interview him, see kind of what we're on in Dallas and what actually happened. And can you get on weight? And maybe he could be a guy that can help you stop the run. And, you know, maybe got a little bit of athleticism left. He can get up there and, you know, penetrate the passer as well, uh, penetrate that line to get to the passer. So, you know, to be honest, I, I would look at bringing Don Terry Poe in. I most definitely would, I think. Um, you know, he still got probably a little bit of juice left. But you're not looking for him to, you know, be, you know, Dominic and Sue. Or, you know, you look for him to be, you know, now he not. Stop the run, you know. So I would definitely think about it. They then at the D-line, you add Griffin. You got to cut somebody else as well, too. I mean, also, you got, you know, um, eventually, hopefully, Desmond Trufant could be active. So we'll see what happens. But. That's definitely a guy to look at. You look at all the other guys that could be available. I mean, J.J. Watt, I just don't see, you know, why you trade for J.J. Watt. I don't think it's fair for him. He should be able to go to a championship contender. I mean, also, you still got Jerry Davis that you can trade. I heard Pittsburgh is very interesting in him. Mike Tomlin loved him. So there's a number of trades the Lions can make to get this team better um, and maybe should make. If you don't pay Galladay, I mean, you don't want him to walk for nothing. Um, if you could trade Jared Davis, maybe perhaps they do cut Desmond Trufine and just take the loss. Um, but cause since he ain't been healthy, but we got to see pretty much how it roll out, but it will be fans at some point. I think by Thanksgiving, it'd be fans in there, but Don Terry Poe, maybe I would do it. Um, there's really no risk, uh, to us, but Hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, reach out. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request, all the social media links in the description. If you got a business, you want to advertise on the channel, hit me up. Appreciate the love support. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation, uh, share the video, but cash app at CJ Good 313 for financial donations. PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time. It's your boy CJ Goodfella. Motor Street Sports Talk. And don't forget, check out my other channel, Goodfella Sports TV, uh, right here on YouTube. Appreciate the love and support once again. 
We gone.